um, draw the neural projection of this molecule. But the thing is that you got to draw it from the C3 to C2. The number referred to the carbon number of the sign two, right? So this is a one, two, three, four, five carbon containing chain, right? So this is a pentane. And then that's rule number one, right? Rule number two of the nitric rule is that we're going to assign number to the carbon. So get the substitutions, get the lowest number possible, right? So should we number one from this end? Or should be number from one from the other end. So that's the something that you've got to figure out. Because I said you gotta look at the C2, but you gotta find out which one's a C3, which one's a C2. I mean, you may think that okay, that's a C2 and that's three, or but it can be that's C2, so then it can be C3 too. Well, this one is pretty simple because uh, if if you make this carbon number one. The first substitution is appearing in third carbon and then the fourth carbon. That would be three and four. That's not, we should name number two, right? Number two is going to be this one. Number three is that one. So what that means is where we should look at the molecule, that direction. C3 becomes top, C2 goes to the back. So we got to look at the molecule this way. And I think out here, after we do this thing, I want you to do the same neural projection, but in the reverse direction. If you have to do the neural projection from the C to C3, you got to look at from the top and look down this way, right? So the neural projection changes depending on which way you're looking at. So this is something that is going to be critical. Well, first thing to do, down in the center is a front carbon, that is C3. Circle in the back carbon, that's a C2. We have a, a bond coming up, that is basically the vertical line right there. And then two substituents, this carbon is a tetrahedral, right? we have to make it tetrahedral. So if you look from this way, it's going to be shaped this particular way because that's tetrahedral carbon. The back carbon is the same way. What goes at the top of the front carbon here? That's this one, right? Because when you look at that, you see that that ethyl groups goes on top. And then that's on the same plane. And then this methyl groups, that goes right here on the back organ, the downside. What you need to make sure is you got to place those two substituents, you know, show me the vector dash line correctly in here. Which one should go where? That's the things you have to figure out. So the bromine connected to the back line, that means it's coming out of the screen, right? It's coming out of the screen. But you are making, you're looking through the bond this way, right? Bromine is coming out of the screen. So that happens to be on your left side, right? So where the bromine has to go, the left side, that connect to the center dot. And then hydrogen, that's an upper side. For the back carbon, you recently came through the bond. There is a hydrogen and then chlorine. And then chlorine is connected to the dash line, which means that it's a behind the screen, right? It's a behind the screen. Behind the screen is that way. That is on your right hand side. So where the chlorine has to go, your right hand side, hydrogen, go to the only side of the way of the you know, the other side. So that's the minimum prediction of this molecule when you're looking through C3 to C2. Right? 